hey guys how y'all doing welcome back to my channel is a girl queen b hope you guys are doing fabulous as usual um today um i'm just gonna tell you a little bit about me um just let you know 10 things about the queen all right so guys as before i get into the video please remember to like subscribe and share tell a friend to tell another friend to tell another friend to tell another friend okay cool. Right, guys, me take off the glasses. Me can't bother. Me can't hardly the see you know, but that glasses, I don't know it around down my nose and all these things. So let's get into this video. All right. First thing I want to tell you guys, and I think most of you who is a part of my audience, do this one. All right. The first thing, guys, I am a mom. Yes, that's my first real job. Yes, I am a mom. Like a mom's baby, right? I first thing first, I'm a mother of three. I have one girl and two big man. Yes, they're my big man. Yes, I am also a stepmom. Yeah, I'm a stepmom of a beautiful little girl, and I'm a godmother of four children. I have two um god. I have two godson and two goddaughter. So there and then, let me see. Let me have one, two, three of my own, one step and four. So that means that I'm a, I'm a mom of seven. Jesus Christ. What happened? Has seven been we have? Why? It's a basketball team in a training. So yes, guys. for 22 years this month april coming april coming no it's march 2022 so april 13 2022 i will be married for 12 years no 22 years i'm, I'm married april the 13 2000 yeah but i've been with the people and people there the people 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 for 30 two years yeah I was so uh, sometimes make me no, no sometimes I think you need a break mm -mm. anyway so that's number two okay the next thing that you guys need to know about me is that I am a businesswoman yes I am a businesswoman I am a wholesaler and I also do real estate. So guys, if you want to rice and the flour and the sugar, and I think you guys see it in some of my videos. Yes, I am a business woman. Yeah. And I also do real estate. I rent houses. Yeah. So, that's how me and Papi do. So we do it together. And we have been doing it for about 20 years. Yeah. We have been together for 32 years. And we have been doing business for about 22 20 to 22 years yeah for my having my first son yeah all right so now it's number three the third thing that i needed to know about me is that see this girl this girl ain't no one no one at all i hate i have i can't put my finger on one person that i ate when i was going to school there was this guy who um me and him did in the malice, we didn't talk. And I always pray to God and say, Father God, that's the only person that I have some form of unfinished business with. If you please could let me find that guy. And the other day when my stepfather died and I went to the funeral, I saw him and I made sure I present myself and I tell him, so listen, you're the only person that I did have some form of conflict with that I did not resolve. 
and I get an opportunity to do so. Thank you, Jesus, for that one. So now I have a clean slate. I love people. I care for people. You, it don't really matter who you are. You understand? As long as you're a person, I just love everyone. I don't eat no one. I may not like their behavior. Or I may not like their attitude or whatever. But them themselves, I do not hate anyone. So that's number four for me. Number five of your queen girl is that this girl loves to give away. I think it's one of my weaknesses. And I also think it's, it's also one of my love language. I just love to give. I love to give. I don't know. I think I adopt this one from my mom. Because I can I can remember when I was small and my mom used to send me to just give some people some stuff, give some people some stuff, just give some people some stuff. And um you now I'm an adult and I can remember in my teenage years and so forth, this girl just loved to give away. You know, I just love to give away. I mean give away everything I do. I can't you see if somebody just walk up and just say, You know, must have nothing. Me just me, me melt, me melt. You can't catch me like that. But guys, I am not a run over still. I am not a run over. I am not dumb and I'm not stupid. But I love to give and that will melt me. All right. The next thing I need you guys to do about me is that this girl right here, me love money. I don't know no man when I love money still in you know, but meeting me love into that difference. Guys, I love money. Love money, but but there's something you guys need to know about me and loving money. What when it comes to money, I me run the show. It's not money run my show. It doesn't dictate to me. It doesn't tell me what to do, where to do it, and how to do it. No, no, no. I me run the show there. Say, so, see, when it comes to money, guys, I am a lover of money. Me, I believe that when it comes to money, must have it by the chill alone. Me have a big backyard and just pop them up in there. You understand? It's just a back up, chill up on top of, chill up on top of, chill up. Yeah, but I me run the show. Money not tell me what to do. You know, tell me when for going and tell me when for coming and tell me for spending and tell me but I must have money. I must not. I mean, I have the money for miserable. Sometimes my husband says, listen, girl, they're going to come and tell me you may not have no money for me. So I don't think for the God they put me on this hurt back too. That's why me, we work every day. I'm not going to go out of my way to get money. No. I am not going to sell my soul. And I'm not going to do anything legal. Everything that I have is legal. No backdoor deal. I get up every day and I hustle. Everything I have. I don't feel look when police are come. I don't feel look if nobody has come back for nothing. Yeah. Me rather trust it. Borrow it. But we're going to pay back for us. Everything that I have is honest bread. Honest bread. So yes, guys. I love money. Next thing that I need you guys to know about me is that I love to shop and I love to travel. Two of them is a combination. It's just that um, sometimes I don't get the opportunity to do those two. But guys, when I get the opportunity for shop, we don't need credit card them. One time Papi F said, no, so the first time I travel, I come back with eight suitcases. Eight suitcase. My husband cuss at all you put in cussing, 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 cussing. You cussing, cussing. Say me not used to not me say yeah. You say you not used to not me say yeah. First me I travel. Me I done America. Me I carry on everything. And then me did. And then if I turn off track, I think me did a pack barrel. I pack two barrel. Yeah. Eight suitcase and two barrel. Me care all America. I know me have things here when me know where, and that was the first time I was traveling. Yeah, and I know me, I, I can go and check. I have stuff that I don't touch. I don't have stuff that I don't know that I have. But if I want it, me may remember it. But I think I have stuff that I don't know, I don't use. So yes, guys, I love to shop. 
על מי תצאי מכן עליו ושם? ושיא אומי אגואן, מנו מה שבקום just like me. You understand? I love to shop. And when I go shop, I make sure that I save my money, I pull on my money, and I go shop. And if I don't have the money, I'm not going to shop. But I use up the people in credit card. I don't have them come home and say, Papi, you have X amount of credit card to pay, so you know we have to go do extra stuff. But guys, I love to shop, and I love to travel. The place that I want to travel, anybody who know where I can get a Shanghai visa, I want to go to Paris. We want to go to Paris, and I think they say it, it's also um, the ticket to carry to um, England. But I'm trying to get a Shanghai visa, and I don't know. I don't know if it's a Shanghai or Shanghai or Shanghai or whatever, but I saw me in within the region there. Anybody who have traveled to Paris, please to link me up. I need to know. One time I tried to go up to the British Embassy, stupid me not even didn't know that um, it's two different something. Me never know until when time I do the application, they said, no, this don't carry you there. Well, guys, I need to get a Shania visa. I need to go to Paris. I don't know any foreign language, but the thing will get along. I will get by. I will get by. So, guys, I love to travel. I feel I need me one go to Paris. I think when I was smaller, when I was small, that was my dream location. All me I go to America. I'm tired of America now. And the funniest thing about America, I don't think I do not even, not even an eye dot of America yet. I'm not going to fit up America. But I want to go to Paris. I don't know me a Paris body. It's a Paris look. But me, me think me drinking of green juice. To me, Canada is boring and cool. Not too like Canada, but like America still. I'm going to Paris. I'm going to Paris. All right, guys. So yes, that's so that's the next thing. So I need you guys to know. The next thing I need you guys to know about me is that I think that our number seven way to one of the number there is that guys, I hate to cook. I think I hate to cook because I don't know how to cook. Since, since you guys have been teaching me, you know, teamwork, since you guys have been teaching me, I think I like to cook. Maybe me I said that too quick. Maybe me I put it out there. But since you guys have been encouraging me, I think it's because I didn't get the teaching why I don't like it. But me don't really like it. If, if, if you really tell me, I think I just do it for you guys. I think I mostly do it for you guys. I don't like to cook. I think one of them and the next thing guys I hate washing the first money me make is that Mr. Kevin we have to get a washing machine me used to wash too much clothes in media country got a river go wash clothes and all them something there me did me don't know me did hate country life and anything will look like country me not like it anything will look like some country business me not like it so I always have a washing machine I hate to wash and I hate to press thank you Jesus for Auntie Jackie Thank you, Auntie Jackie, here for press, you know, people. So what we try to do is to buy clothes that we don't really have to press. You understand? Because we know it feel like not liking to press. I don't like to iron, guys. I really hate it. I want my kids in that year because I'm going to press them in uniform. You understand? All right, the next thing, guys, that I like to do, and I don't know if you guys know this, I love to anything health wise anything that has to do with health i love to do i love to exercise i can't remember not exercising only if i'm sick if i'm sick uh, yeah you know you can't exercise if you're sick but i have a terrible headache 
and even when my head is hurting me, I still go for an exercise. If I need to just walk, go the road and walk, come back, but me I forgetting something. But guys, anything else wise, this girl like it. I love my green juice, if you all know. I love everything green in juice, and I love to. I don't like. I don't like a lot of medication. You know, I really don't like medication, but I will take my vitamin. My vitamins, anything else wise, I is a girl here. Yeah, I love to do that. And my next thing that I love to do, girl, I love to do YouTube. And my favorite part of doing YouTube is the vlog. I love to vlog. Today I didn't get to vlog. I didn't have any video for you guys today, so I said let her just come and just tell you a little bit about me. But guys, since doing YouTube, I love to vlog. I love to tell you guys about my tea. I really love to vlog. Yes, I really like to vlog. And um, yeah, I really like it. So even though you exercise and um, you eat right, I think for most people that's what make them sick. And I have, I have, um, I've been in contact with some people who are sick them exercise and then eat right but they just don't have a peace of mind guys have to have a peace of mind to remain healthy it's like they everything bother them you know so they put everything on their mind everything is a problem guys everything is not a problem most things is we create problem you know sometimes it's just things are just a situation i have been there and done all of that you know so you take a lot of things that is just a, a, a situation and you just make it into a problem and you, then you become sick so sometimes you may get up and you may eat the right food and you may exercise and you may take your vitamin and you wonder why you're sick because guys you don't have a peace of mind you have to have a peace of mind so me girl right here I try my utmost best to have a clear mind and a clear peace of mind yeah and you also have to take in your sleep your sleep is very important. I love to sleep. That's something you need to know about me. I love to sleep. Sometimes I can say, I sleep too much, Maria. Sleep too much, my girl. Sometimes I have to say, all right, get up, go to work, do what you have to do, and come back. So sometimes I get caught up, some don't need to get my rest. But yes, guys, a part of keeping healthy is that you have to have a clear mind, a peace of mind. That's your peace of mind. Peace of mind. Yeah, you have to have a peace, peace in your mind. You also have to have a clear mind and a clean mind. Yeah, your mind has to be clean. You have to have clean thoughts. Clean thoughts. You have to think clean. You understand? You have to have that. Yeah. So that is things that I like to do. I like to think happy thoughts. Sometimes I wake up in the morning and I'm happy. And I say, Papi, then why do you wake up so happy? And I say, I don't know. But guys, I have to have that. So that is one more thing you need to know about me. And finally, the next thing that you need to know about your girl is that I am a country girl. Yeah. Country girl come at town. Stushy there at town. Yeah, yeah. Queen girl now. Town of Kingstonian. Me get my green card. Red. Yes, guys. So the next thing you need to know about me. Yes, guys. I'm a country girl. I was born in Trelawney. Yes. I grew up in Trelawney, I born in Manchester, but go in Trelawney. Yes. And um, I come to Kingston when I was 11, going on 12 years old. And um, I do, I, I still remember my roots. I never forget my roots. Right, guys? I don't forget my roots. I love my country food. I don't like fast food. I don't like anything too fancy. Yes, I love I love my yam, I love my dumpling, I love my rice, I love my cabbage, I love my callaloo, I love my stewed chicken, I love my ackee and saltfish, you name it from the bush, you girl got it. Yes, I love my planting and I love my green banana. Alright, yeah, I think everybody get it. Yes, your girl is a country girl. Yeah, so that is something that you guys need to know about me. So that's why if you should hear my kids ask me what's my favorite meal, you get them say pasta because it's close to country. 
<laughs> guys it's not that i won't try something new I, I, I try a lot of stuff and i eat other stuff and i get to like other stuff but those things are rooted in me yes guys i am a chironic girl so yes guys i hope this video um let you have more knowledge of who i am if there is anything that you guys feel that i left out that you need to know i will try my best to answer it if it is possible i am not gonna guarantee you guys that i will answer all your questions because i know some things i cannot say i may never call you one away and tell you because you know every this is media i can't put everything out there but yes guys if there's anything that you feel that i left out that you need to church i grew up in the church my mother was a missionary my dad get baptized maybe over two or three years before he died he wasn't much in the church my sisters go in church they are big in church and i was grew, i grew up in the church but you know <laughs> but now i'm back in the church but yes guys i love the church so if there's anything else that you guys need to know about me that i did not add here you can leave a comment and i will try to answer as best as i can or maybe i will send you no but you can't make can't send you no message i just try and answer what i cannot answer i will say i cannot answer yeah so remember guys to like subscribe and share leave a comment tell a friend tell another friend and i will see you again in my next video be safe love you Bye.